progression. The knock-on effect of musical influences and the metamorphosis into what we now call Deep House. The late 40s, the atom was split. After the war, there was a revival in dance. Paul Puccini created a live set of dance at his Whiskey A Go-Go clubs, the first of which opened in Paris in 1947. These were experiences that changed people's way of thinking in dance and music. We discovered that everything was forever changed. When we discovered the word could be cut up, that sound could be cut up, that everything to do with culture could be cut up and reassembled in ways that didn't exist before. Influences ranging from the 1940s to post-Nazi war swing clubs of the 1950s, allowing people true freedom of movement to the revolutionary twist of the 1960s. Most music comes from the 70s, because the last 20 years, we've been just sampling the 70s and getting breaks and loops and wah-wah guitar, saxophone, flute, riffs, it's all from the 70s, you know what I mean? Disco, the music John Travolta danced to in the infamous Saturday Night Fever. The club culture that we enjoy today was conceived under a mirror ball, born to the sound of Donna Summer, and buried in its history are the roots of house music. And this idea that you created the seamless flow of music that ran all night, created by a DJ, that came from disco, and that has been one of the most radical changes of music in the last 30 years. Giorgio Moroder did an incredible thing. He was one of the most important influences on disco. Now we're expecting the disco area for what, for what it stood for, because most of the records that are, that are very popular and predominant right now are disco, it's disco cut up, disco cut ups of, of uh, very famous riffs of, of uh, a lot of disco music, which was popular in the 70s. So if it's gone around full circle, it's, it's incredible. Disco died in 79, there was a void in the music, which when Frankie Knuckles was in New York, he went to Chicago, he caught the very beginning of it. He opened up a club which was called The Warehouse. So after a while, you know, people get used to saying things, so they just chopped it from warehouse to house. People would go out after hearing Frankie play at The Warehouse and be like, we want some of those house records, meaning warehouse records, the club warehouse. Mainly what it was was just disco. Disco and upbeat uh, R&B songs, and they just named it house because it was played at the house. Other influential clubs that paved the way for disco's many offspring to take their first steps were New York's Paradise Garage, synonymous to the godfathers Larry LeVan and Frankie Knuckles, as well as Macuso, who started the loft, laid the foundation of what has now become Deep House. My defining record is this record called Move Your Body, the house music anthem. Sasha within the dance music industry is a legend. In the same way that George Best was the first superstar footballer, Sasha was the first superstar DJ. Deep House. It was disco's essence, its rhythms, its bass lines, its spirit. The DJ, aiming to preserve a music which had been declared dead, had created another from its ashes. Deep House conjures the idea of a family, it's a sense of belonging and moved from an underground cult to a modern day international religion for the sophisticated listener. plays a huge part in Deep House. The likes of MTV and FTV being the media forerunners use it to epitomize the trendy lifestyle. The universal nature of Deep House is growing due to DJs jet setting and feeding off one another's cultural influences. It's only been a week The rush of being home and rapid fading Failing to recall 
But I was missing all that time in England They sent me aimlessly And for her by the help of transportation To knock on windows where A friend no longer live I had forgotten are deeply bedded in soulful and classical sounds fused with traditional earthy rhythms that have developed over the foundations of the old school influences. It brings a sultry vocal mix which appeals to the sophisticated yet modern and forward-thinking individual. Deep House has made its presence known and established itself in the here to stay category. I think every generation and every age looks back at the time when they were first discovering something and that becomes special. I think now is a brilliant time. Now is a great time for dance music especially. You know, you've never heard more dance music around the world than you have now. Basically now we're prodigies of that environment that happened back in those days. Hey, this is a youth culture, you know, this is culturally a really important issue what we're doing and what the whole thing is, you know, because it's not just about music, you know, there's like a certain way of writing, there are writers out of this whole scene, there are basically fashion designers, interior design, things like this, it's all developed through the same sort of cultural roots. A lot of things are happening on sort of different sort of, you know, scales from, from movie, theater, music, clubs, everything really and um, that's really cool we have really good sort of you know restaurants and bars and a really sort of nice also somewhat trendy sort of scene you know where, where you can go out and, and have a lot of fun it's a whole lifestyle around it it's a whole really cultural movement declaring yourself in the know. Deep House as seen here performed by Saint Germain incorporates original musical instruments as opposed to synthesized samples. It brings in a warm integrity based sound that portrays a sophistication and lifestyle that people the world over aspire towards. Technology plays a huge part in the longevity of Deep House allowing it to spread faster and with more intensity worldwide. So as sure as the beats and blends still spin around the turntables in the clubs the world over, uplifting people's spirits, the world spins on its axis moving in one united direction. <laughs> <laughs> 